Spratly Spat. A week after the Columbia shadowed Jin number two on its sea trials, the Columbia's captain emerges from his cabin for morning watch. Plot reports Jin number one steady off the starboard quarter, continuing its deterrence patrol uneventfully. Yeah, they got these switched. This should be over here. That should be over there. Maybe not. No, this one is right. It seemed like it was switched in the last one. Maybe not, though. I don't know. It's just my opinion. The history of mod Because I would assume this kind of language over here is... I think belongs over here and tasking is like, do this, do that, ROE, maintain constant comms or whatever. Strike only after the enemy has struck and seize the initiative. Yeah, that's contradictory, all right. The definition of an enemy strike is not limited to conventional kinetic military operations. What is this, a philosophy lesson? <laughs> Thus, striking only after the enemy has struck does not mean waiting for the enemy to strike passively. It doesn't mean to give up the advantageous advant uh, chances in campaign or tactical operations. For the first shot on the plane of politics must be differentiated from the first shot on that of tactics. If any country or organization violates the other country's sovereignty and territorial integrity, the other side will have the right to fire the first shot on the plane of tactics. These passages illustrate the ambiguity of PRC strategic thinking as well as the justification for offensive or preemptive military action at the operational and tactical level under the guise of a defensive posture at the strategic level. Annual Report to Congress, Military and Security Developments Involving the People's Republic of China, 2010. You know, this, may, this campaign was made a few years after Dangerous Wars was released. Or maybe... The book Lou Doctrine takes place in the future from when it was made. I don't know. Chasley spat. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get into this crap. Here we go. Checkbox. This hasn't told me anything about what I'm doing. It's interesting. I was going through one of my I have like all these bunch of like random notepad documents in a folder in my in my documents folder, just like ideas I've had. At some point in the past, I came across this book called Lou Doctrine and decided I should have the idea of making a campaign for it, which I find interesting. <laughs> I guess I did not know that this existed. <clears throat> a young petty officer hands the captain the traffic from the last comms interval. Apparently, the fibs of the South Sea Fleet had gotten underway the night before and were headed to Myanmar for some joint exercises. The Chinese hadn't bothered to tell anyone until this morning, but that was expected. There was more traffic about the Spratleys, too. Some Chinese fishermen had ignored the warnings of the Malaysian Navy and had been taken into custody. The UN will take up the matter later this week. A moderate hearth earthquake <laughs> it Singapore, but wasn't expected to be bad enough to warrant a humanitarian assistance mission. The captain set the dispatches down. I have the con. An ordinary start to an ordinary watch. Oh uh, yeah, sounds good to me. Usually mission three in these things is usually when stuff starts hitting the fan, so we'll see here. They're kind of like buttering you up for it. They're like, eh, it's just an ordinary watch, any other watch. It's like, yeah, right. Holy Christ, what do we got going on here? Look at all this stuff. It's all kinds of little... Oh, Loatia, Loatia. I thought it said Ray Liotta Bank for a second. <laughs> Man, this guy's using so many different side colors that I've never seen before. What is this? Zhuk PC. I have show allies turned on. No information available for this object. What? Tarantal. Lots of Tarantals. Hauling ass. This is all Vietnamese stuff. Malaysian stuff. Chinese stuff. China and Vietnam. That should be a different color then, probably. That's just my opinion. What? What are they shooting? Should I be seeing this right now? Should I have show allies turned off? They're not shooting at that guy, I can tell you that much. <laughs> a little too far away. 50 miles. Um, interesting. 
Okay. I did not get any message to like check a bra. 1100 feet. Wow, we're really cruising down here, huh? The layer's at 1151. I always found that screwy. That just seems way too deep for a layer. But that means we have. No, this means we do not have convergence zone. The convergence zone layers are all much shallower. They usually don't go any deeper than 500 feet. Got ourselves some surface duct. Well, we're not beneath the layer. What do we got going on here? Hello. Hello. Oh, the toad is beneath the layer, though. We are chilling at five knots. Liquid, liquefied natural gas carrier. 50, 100, 300. Yep, that is indeed LNG carrier. 60, 180, 336, probably 335. Could indeed be an oiler, could indeed also be one of the many other different kinds of warships. So we'll mark that guy. Fifty one hundred, that's the LNG guy. There must be close aboard high bearing rate. Oh uh, this guy oh son of a wow that really streamed in quickly there. Um reel that out. Nothing worth seeing on the uh, spherical right now. Yeah, we're gonna have to go shallow and see if there's anything waiting topside for us. This artsy fartsy ass mission briefing. <laughs> I guess we might as well just start that now that our scent we're already freaking at above the layer. Make my depth zero six seven. It's gonna be a long ascent. Man, that layer depth, it's only useful to like an alpha. Hello, round and brown. B17 Balmer. What? <laughs> like Baltimore, Balmer? Ah, uh, that's good. <clears throat> Whole popping target's coming shallow. What does that mean? Oh, uh, what does Bart Mancuso then say in that line? <laughs> it means our customer here is a very cool and customary Russian. Gonna go up to take a peek. We'll follow him. Yeah, Toad's dipping beneath the layer right now. Not much it can do about it. Con radio ELF message received. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, Lamy stopped at 311 whenever that came out years ago. 2011, something like that. But there's a bunch of uh, campaigns and stuff for it. I don't know of any, like, really well known purpose made campaigns for RA. They made them all for, like, Lamy, if anything. <clears throat> a lot of Bill Nichols stuff is for the Luwami. This is for this one. This campaign was purpose built for the Luwami. So hard to say. It's a dumb acronym, but whatever. <laughs> 
I always try and convince myself to just say Lamy, but I always end up going like the Lamy. Alpha Tau, like change name or something. Is that toad still beneath the layer? Um, let's uh, rest our descent at 600 feet. I want that to, to freaking level out here. Make my depth six. Make sure we're not going to freaking come to periscope depth into somebody's keel here. No, Redstorm Rising was made for default dangerous waters, but the RA guys made their own version of it, which I have yet to play. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> The RA Redstorm Rising campaign is, I think, the RA team's, uh, it's their edit of the uh, Redstorm Rising campaign made by Bill Nichols, which I think, which, yeah, that was the first third-party campaign I did, but I couldn't get the campaign mode to work, so I was doing it as quick missions, which I do not advise. Play it as a campaign. It makes it much easier because it remembers your successes from earlier missions, whereas the quick missions do not. I wish there was an option for the quick missions where you could, like, uh, in that situation, it would give you, like, starting parameters that could be variable and you could, like, set them to your own liking. That would be fun. Add it to Dangerous Waters, too. <laughs> Checklist. RSR is for Luami originally, was it? All right, we got people back to say hello to. What do we got cooking? Oh, this is the uh, the gin. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing three zero five, designated Sierra two. Con sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing two three. I forgot we were tracking a gin right now. Gin number one. <laughs> well, put a track on a Typhoon Seven. Or start a track on it, something like that. <clears throat> uh, no, we'll say confidence high. I don't think anyone else out here has a 50, 125, 405. Nope, 50, 125, 405 is, 405 is completely unique. It's all you need to identify this guy. Let's see here. We found Red October. I had a brake track to pick you up. All right, let's continue our ascent. Make my depth zero, six, seven feet. Die by. Yeah, just gotta start cranking out missions. I mean, I need to get back on working to it, but I was doing my own uh, port of the sub command 688i campaign to RA. You get back. It's hard to test campaigns, though. There's got to be an easier way to do it. Because once you get to like the 10th mission, it's like, how do you test that out? I don't know. I guess you have to have like all the missions beat, and then you can kind of test it out and just make sure that your stuff from previous missions carries over. Because the way I was going to do it is like, uh, I was going to make it so an earlier, like the, the campaign remembers which submarines you've sank. So, like in earlier missions, if you sink, you don't have to sink some stuff, but if you do sink it, it won't show up later. <clears throat> yep, I'm in the same boat, rent account. <laughs> I do it as a passion project. Uh, we should probably turn to want to figure out which way this guy is. What is that? Something else 50 showing up. These guys are far enough away, we're not going to hit them. The bearing rate's too high on them. We got Ginny on the, on the, on the spherical there. <clears throat> uh, let's turn. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need a turn. I know which one it is. I got him right there. <laughs> 1150. 
Yeah, that's him. Boom. Pow right in the kisser. Sonar, I have a new contact. Drop Barrick, that guy. Three, Ooh, he might zero, be kind of close. Zero force zero here, four. too. Merge him up. Good. Don't have to turn. Scoozy. Fine by me. Uh, we got a demon on this guy, huh? Maybe. Four knots. Oh, we're gonna overtake him. We're not careful here. Slow down. Make turns for four knots. Maneuvering eye. Just a routine deterrence patrol. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, my ass. Seems like it's probably pretty close. Well, we have to wait till more data comes in here. Let's just assume about three and a half miles here. What? Did I merge two tracks that were not the same thing here? I don't think I did. My toad's doing crazy stuff. <clears throat> it's almost like playing an alternate history. <laughs> you throw some Swiss Miss in your coffee? Holy crap. Sounds pretty good. It's like a Walmart mocha. <laughs> Speed a lot more harsh. Losing them on the spherical doesn't look like we're getting in any kind of surface clutter here. All right, let's raise that radio mast. Ah, uh, where the heck is it? Raise the antenna, chief of the watch eye. And we'll do a sweep on the periscope here too. Very well. Smooth as glass out here, man, I tell you. Really easy to see a periscope. All right. Lower the scope. Let's see what we got on the ESM. Flash, flash, flash from Com Subcruise 7, emergency tasking. APLAN South Sea, South sea Fleet ARG traveling south through South China Sea is unexpectedly turns east towards the Spratleys. Now evaluate this ARG's movements as a possible amphib assault in retaliation for the detention of Chinese fishermen in disputed waters. Wow, that's really distant. Uh, mission, close with PLAN, ARG, make best speed possible without being detected, hold transports at risk, and await further orders. 10 nautical miles. ARG position reported 841-1130. Eight forty one one eleven forty. Heading ninety speed fourteen at O six hundred. Okay. Fourteen three fifteen miles. They're now here and very close to whatever the heck this thing is. <laughs> uh Arg at 600L. Um, I have a calculator. I don't need to freaking do this by head. 14 times 1.25. 17.5 miles, actually. Arg <laughs> at 0.715L. Okie dokie. Oh, it was able to get Su-30 flanker out of that? Or did it just randomly assign something? No, Su-30 flanker. 
Lower. Lower the the execution peacetime ROE remain in effect. Once in position, maintain continuous communication unless tactical situation prevents. Very well. Okay. I'll probably make for 15 knots due south here. Just to wait for them to arrive. Be there in two hours. In two hours they will be... Here. Oh no, I'm not going to be there in two hours. What am I talking about? Be there in like an hour and a half. No, two and a half hours. Okay, yeah. We'll head maybe a little, maybe a little like that. Just make sure we really get in front of them there. We only need to be ten miles outside of their position. Twenty thousand yards is pretty far. It says ten miles though. Alrighty, so we got a break track with this guy, with our, our little friend here. This movie be rated yar 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 yar. <clears throat> okay, uh, we're gonna go underneath that layer. It's a very deep layer. Whatever this thing is, it's right near that arg. Let me make sure I read that right. Those coordinates: eight forty one one eleven thirty, heading ninety. Eight thirty one one eleven thirty. Oh, whoops. Wrong. Sorry. I did get that wrong. 831, 111.30. It's down here. No, it is 841. What am I? I'm going crazy. 841, 111.30. Right there. It's gone 17 and a half miles and is now here. Right now. Or right there. Whatever this thing is, is right near it. That has, I have no data for this thing. This Zhuk, whatever the heck this thing is. Alrighty, uh, well. What do we have his speed as? Four knots. And he's going some like weird direction. No, I think we're just much closer to him than I thought. But maybe not, I don't know. It's weird. Not sure which. That seems no. That's that's no wrong. Patently false. Seems to be a weird place to be following. Them. We're going like due west. Oh well. All right. Time to get cracking. So fourteen times three. Well, let's just plot out some random stuff here. So 14 will be there. 14 there. Arg at 0800. Arg at 0900. Arg at 1000. And if we make for 15 knots, kind of this direction, one hour, two hours. Yeah, we'll be completely fine. We don't even need to possibly even go that fast. All right, let's, uh, we are secured from all this stuff. Just lower everything just in case I forgot something. All right, new course. Come look that away. One. Six, three. Depth, 1,200 feet. Make my depth one, two, zero, zero feet. Die by.
I play the game the way I like. <clears throat> I don't try and tell people other people how to play the game. Pepe seems to. Seems to like doing that. Play the game the way you like. I play the game the way I like. <clears throat> All right, what course did I order here? One, six, three. Fifteen knots. It's in one hour, so that'll be eight twenty. Then in two hours, nine twenty. Be like here. I can just go do south then. And we might be able to be like starting to hear them. 25 miles away. Yeah, we'll just go due south. <clears throat> Come left to course. One, seven, nine. How am I? So is that, and we're in this guy's baffles over here. Oh my god, the solution is very messy. Eh. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't really matter too much. We don't really care about that guy anymore. I'm just curious as to where he was. It seems weird that it would start us off at a different course than the guy we're supposedly following. I don't know. I guess he's not going to come into play for anything else this mission. I'm just going to say goodbye. Someone else picking him up? I don't know. It's not my concern. <clears throat> yeah, if I'm in a really busy spot... I do turn on auto TMA because <laughs> I got more important things to worry about. I've come to that realization. Ugh. The TMA is fun. That's what I like doing. Do, 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 do. 15, that's our boy right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's him. Wait, no, that's me. <laughs> that's our boy. Who we're about to say bye-bye to. It's the bye-bye man. <laughs> Steady on course. One, seven, nine. Is that our oiler LNG thing? Liquidified, liquefied. I keep wanting to say like liquid nitrogen gas. No, it's liquefied natural gas. Is like liquid nitrogen made at some huge facility somewhere and then is like trucked all around, or are there more like localized things that make that? I'd assume more localized because I assume that shit boils and evaporates pretty quickly. Okie dokie. Yeah, we'll go at 14 knots. We'll just go at 14 knots. 15 is a decent enough approximation there. <sighs> Gotta wait till we get underneath that layer, though, because I'm not exactly sure of this guy's course, but it's probably something along these lines. We probably are in his baffles. I would assume we're, the mission would start us in the baffles of the thing we're tracking. But we'll just wait. There's no rush. <clears throat> Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh yeah. If it now I will say that if a contact is very close in, being meticulous only grants you like a few dozen yards at a time. But if it's a far away solution, if you're not meticulous enough, that you're talking like miles of difference and that can make a huge impact. <clears throat> Yeah, 
and never mind the fact that multiplayer is not really realistic at all. <laughs> like any mission that has more than one U.S. sub in the same area is just wrong to begin with. U.S. US Navy never puts subs in the same area. Friendly subs. All right, I'm gonna be. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Drain that old main vein there. <laughs> Unflood the torpedo tube. <laughs> God. <laughs> See you, Ortega. Yes, I imagine the time to sink things probably starts in this mission, though. Have not sunk anything in a long time. Gotta break off the rust. Break off the rusty chains. Only six blades we're seeing, huh? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, a long time would mean since World War II, right? Unless there's something I don't know about. Did the U.S. Navy sink anything in... Oh, do you mean like the West in general? Did the U.S. Navy sink anything in the Korean War, submarine-wise? I remember doing that one mission in... Uh command the silent service where I sunk something. Did I sink it? Or did the mission crash before then? I don't remember. <laughs> that was a while ago. <clears throat> nope, well, sort of. I had a did or he didn't. So sort of sinking. Yeah, we sort of sunk. Uh, what is that? Whatever it is, just disappeared. So we're down here. Let's uh, get cracking. Make turns for 14 knots, maneuvering eye. I probably should have charged up my air. We can do that at some point. Be nice to have a full load of air. <coughs> Scusi. Oh, really? Oh, in Vietnam, huh? Okay. Yeah, I guess I would just consider sinking anything with a torpedo the last time that happened. Doesn't have to be a warship. Vietnam, huh? Yeah, I didn't think about Vietnam. Don't really think of like submarines as being involved in Vietnam. It's not like they really had the navy. At least that kind of navy. What was that? Oh, maybe he was just getting close enough to show up there and then just disappeared when we went under the layer. That was interesting. Whatever it was, it was the mere contact of whatever that was. <laughs> Not sure what that one was. That one was like hanging out over there the whole time. Maybe I should find out what that was. Do east. Yeah, that, that's got I'll me Jimmy. To, let's go check that out. I don't know what Jimmy means. Make my depth one, zero, zero, zero feet. Dive by. That is interesting, just hanging out there in the baffles. Someone else trailing me. I, yeah, I would just imagine that most subs in Vietnam were doing reconnaissance type missions. Oh, that's why it sunk it? Okay, <laughs> it collided with it. Goodness, and a diesel nonetheless.
915. Oh, hello. More stuff. 174. 400. Hmm. I would love to make some kind of software that you could like punch in frequencies and would kind of give you some possibilities. Uh, freighter. It's likely a freighter. But just want to be sure. Yep, it's a freighter. You got 60 hertz freighters and 50 hertz freighters. That's a nice touch. All right, back down we go. I'm probably about to wrap up this stream here. Just wanted to be sure that someone wasn't giving me Make my depth one, two, giving me zero, some crap zero. here. Feet die by. Oh, just a little dent. What kind of cargo ship was it? Was it like wooden? I'm assuming it was not some big dozens of thousands of tons cargo ship. This is a deep damn liar. Deep damn liar. Oh, this is like the first time I've like played a mission while we're not getting any pings. I guess usually like the submarine on submarine focused missions you don't usually get pings. <laughs> is that RA submarine ping that you hear? Is that an added sound or is that what it sounded like in the stock game? I can't remember. I feel like it sounded uh the same as a normal warship ping in the stop game. I'm sure there are some wooden Vietnamese cargo ships. I don't know. <laughs> Talk about Vietnam back in the 60s. <clears throat> is it classified to say how thick the steel is on the sail? I imagine it's not as thick as the body because it doesn't, it floods when you dive. So it's not a pressure vessel. <clears throat> Make turns for fourteen nine. Yes, I figured it was pre. HW80. No, it's HY80, right? High yield, high yield 80. 80 KSI. I, I find it personally. What's the Virginia made of? HY120? That's crazy. High yield 120. That's a very high yield strength for steel. I think typical run of the mill carbon steels only has a yield strength of like 30 KSI. <clears throat> Hear that mail truck go by? Why does it sound like all like American mail trucks have such like a horrendous exhaust leak? <laughs> I never understood that. They're all so loud. All right, well, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop it here, y'all. Pick this up next time. I should probably turn show allies off. What were these guys shooting at? That's what I want to know. Were they just doing like a 21 gun salute or something? driving around all right well hasta lasagna mr jin k
catch you later. All right, yeah. See you guys later. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting. And play the game how you want. <laughs>